the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our good night message on this Wednesday, the 12th of January 2022, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the Word of God for today, entitled God Cares for You. Today we read from Mark chapter 1 verse 29 to 39. Jesus coming to Capernaum and getting into the house of Simon Peter after coming from the synagogue, which was just a stone throw from the synagogue. And he found Peter's mother-in-law sick with a fever. And immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her, and she began to serve them. The lifting by the hand has a lot of significance here. It is a sign of care. The care that every parent shows to a child in helping the child start doing things for him or herself. And this is the care that God has for you. This is the care that God shows in our lives. He lifts each and every one of us up. The Bible tells us in Psalm 40 verse 2, He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the merry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. That is how caring God is, making our footsteps firm so that we are able to walk on our own feet. Again, he tells us in Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 3, Thus says the Lord God, Now I will spread my net over you with a company of many peoples, and they shall lift you up in my net. That God will use other people to help him do that lifting up. And this was a message given to the people who were in exile in Babylon. God lifts us up. Because he cares. That's why 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 to 7 is able to say, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may lift you up, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Why is anxiety about the future a form of pride? God's answer would sound something like this. Paraphrasing Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12, I the Lord your maker, I am he who comforts you, who promises to take care of you, and those who threaten you are mere men who die. So your fear must mean that you do not trust me, and even though you are not sure that your own resources will take care of you, yet you opt for fragile self-reliance rather than faith in my future grace. So, all your trembling, weak as it is, reveals pride. The remedy is turn from self-reliance to God's reliance and put your faith in the all-sufficient power of the promise of the future grace. You can see that anxiety is a form of pride in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 to 7. Notice the grammatical connection between the verses, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Now, verse 7, casting all your anxieties on him. Verse 7 is not a new sentence. It is a subordinate clause. It starts with a participle, humble yourselves, by casting all your anxieties on him. This means that casting anxieties on God is a way of humbling ourselves under God's mighty hand. 
It is like saying eat politely, chewing with your mouth shut. Or drive carefully, keeping your eyes on the road. Or be generous, inviting someone over on Thanksgiving. Or humble yourself, casting your fears on God. Which means that one way to humble ourselves is to cast all our anxieties on God. Which means that one hindrance to casting our anxieties on God is pride. Which means that undue worry is a form of pride. No matter how weak it looks or feels, we have to learn to cast everything before God. We have made our budgets this year. We have done a lot to plan for this year 2022. But we have also to humble ourselves before God. Even as we make our budgets, even as we plan, we have to do it in prayer. Faith admits the need for help. Pride won't. Faith banks on God to give help. Pride won't. Faith casts anxieties on God. Pride won't. Therefore, the way to battle unbelief of pride is to admit freely that you have anxieties and to cherish the promise of future grace in the words, He cares for you. And then unload your fears onto His strong shoulders. He will surely care for you he will take care of your needs and he wants you as you trust him to keep working with confidence and on whatever project you are working, understanding that God indeed will reinforce every effort you are making when you trust in his mighty hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Yeah.